Hello Endicott students and welcome back to campus. My name is Danielle Zalia and I am the campus recruiter at KPMG. Today I'm going to talk um, pretty briefly about just networking tips, especially going into a virtual uh, recruiting environment. Hopefully um, some of these will be helpful for you. So the first is I want to just talk about what the benefits of networking are. I think it's really important to keep these in mind while you're you know going through um, some of these processes and, and even into your your future career um, so some of the benefits are investing in your future um, helping to ensure your success just meeting new people and identifying potential new opportunities um, so i would just keep these in mind i, I know networking is um, usually challenging for, for most people. So thinking about um, the benefits as you know, you're kind of going through, through the process can help to keep you on track. Um, as far as actual networking, um, the different pieces kind of fall into different like buckets almost. So the first is the planning stage. Um, so I recommend that you know your goals, um, you do your research about the company in advance, um, and identify kind of the, the relevant people, look at what jobs they have posted, what um, different areas they have available at the firm, um, and just know, you know, who you want to talk to. Um, and I also recommend in the planning stage to think through uh, what your follow-up plan is going to be, and I recommend this because I think that that's usually where a lot of students fall short. Um, is they have all these business cards and all these pamphlets and things like that. And after the event, it's just an, an overwhelming amount of information um, that their their follow up is usually not as great as it as it could be. Um, so next is to attend the event. Make sure you talk to who you want to talk to. Ask good questions. Um, you know, don't just say, what does KPMG do? Um, be sensitive, I would say, to other people's time, especially at like busy events like a career fair. Um, you know, don't monopolize um, the professional's time because they have a lot of other people who um, are waiting and who they need to talk to. Um, and don't just leave your resume on the table either. Um, your resume, if you do that, it just kind of stands alone and we don't have, you know, any personal context. We don't really know anything about you. We didn't get to talk to you. Um, so it can, it can kind of put a, a damper um, on your resume because there isn't that like personal touch. Um, the, the last bucket is follow up, like I said. Um, come up with your plan in advance and then after the event, you just need to execute it. Um, and I would also just, just finish um, this video on saying, don't be afraid to ask for the connections that you want. Um, if you wanted to talk to a tax professional at the event and there wasn't one available or you want to talk to, a, you know, another one, get another perspective, um, don't be afraid to ask the people who you did get to meet for those different connections. Um, the more connections that, that you make and the more people that you get to talk to is just going to help you make um, a more informed decision, um, you know, when that does come um, down the line. So I would just not be afraid to, to ask for that kind of, of stuff if that's what you want. And that's about it for networking tips. I hope that I get to see all of you virtually this fall and, and this upcoming spring. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, feel free to send me an email. I can be reached at Danielle D-E-L-I-A -E at kpmg.com. Take care.